Hi there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up transitions in New Blue Captivate. Transitions enhance the visual appeal of your production with smooth transformations between camera switches. You can utilize a wide range of effect transitions from the New Blue Total Effects Suite or incorporate graphical stingers for creative possibilities. Let's get started. Here in Captivate, at the bottom of your video switcher panel, you'll find two buttons. By default, both buttons are set to cut. These buttons select which transition is active when you make a camera switch. In the project list, I have already added a graphic transition from the library. Many of the graphics template collections in New Blue Captivate include stinger transitions, including the all new diametric and summit collections. To select an arm transition, simply select it from the drop down list in the switcher panel. For example, let's choose Summit Transition. I will click on the transition to arm it, and you can see that the button is now highlighted in blue to indicate which transition is active. Now, when we switch between camera sources, the Summit Transition will play. If you want to explore more transitions options, you can click on the Add Transition button. This will allow you to select from a range of effects created by New Blue over the years. Let's choose the Roll Blur Down transition. You can modify the properties of the selected transition by clicking on it in the project list. This will bring the transition to focus in your properties panel, allowing you to adjust parameters like rate, blur, crossfade, and more. You can also choose from presets or change the timing of the transition. We can preview the transition in the preview panel, and once it's adjusted to your liking, you can set it as active. It's important to note that any graphics can be enabled as a transition. Simply click on Enable as Transition for the desired graphic. Now let's see how transitions interact with shot layouts. I have a basic shot set up with a single camera source, picture in picture, and a lower third. With the shot selected, I can choose to make a camera switch. By default, it is set to cut, which bypasses the active transition in the switcher. However, you have other options. You can choose to follow the active transition, which will use the transition selected in the switcher. Alternatively, you can select transition 1 or transition 2, corresponding to the buttons in the video switcher panel. Additionally, you can directly select any transitions in the project list. Now, when I play this shot layout, it will use the active transition. And that's the basics of setting up transitions in New Blue Captivate. We're excited to see how you use this new functionality to craft unique and entertaining experiences for your viewers. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks to captivate and engage your audience. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.